Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. All right, well today I'm gonna to be talking about To The Death. This is a one or two player card game which you are basically battling it out. You've got your team of heroes, and if it's a two player game, you're playing against another team of heroes, uh, but if it's a solo game, it's you versus a team of enemies. The first thing I want to say about this game is there is a ton of replayability. I mean, there's just a massive stack of cards, and you only use a handful of them at a time. You use four heroes uh, per team, and use five enemies per team. So really, uh, given the fact that there are, I don't know, hundreds of cards in here, it would take you a v hundreds of plays to get through all of them in all different combinations. So there's a ton of replayability, a ton of variety ability. Each one of the heroes has their own special powers, things they're good at. Um, maybe they have melee weapons that are good up front, or they have ranged weapons that are you know good from far away. Uh, you might have magic ones that are good at healing people. You have wizards that are you know that are good at just doing vast damage to a whole bunch of enemies against your team. Another thing I like about this game is the artwork. It's got that cool like kind of eight bit artwork like you'd see like on a Nintendo game, an old school Nintendo game. It's the same artwork that was for. Um, Puzzle Dungeon, which is by the same artist and designer, uh, Brian Garber. So both of them have that same style that I think is really cool. This plays a lot like, um, maybe let's say an RPG, where you have to do like, let's say a knowledge check or a uh, stamina check or whatever and roll a d20 and see what you get. This has um, has checks as well, only it's a deck of cards, these arsenal cards, you flip them over, um, it's a zero and then a two through eight of four different suits that all correspond to... Um, the different kinds of heroes in the game. But you flip one of those over and you do those checks to see how how strong the weapon's going to be that time. Uh, and you add it to what the you know is naturally going to happen due to that uh, hero anyways. And if it's, that value is higher than the shield value of your enemy that you're facing, you do that damage to them. So you have damage trackers both on yourself and on your opponents. Uh, and basically once one hero gets all the way, or enemy, gets damaged all the way down to zero, uh, they're exhausted or even removed from the game. Uh, so you win the game by exhausting, again, either the heroes or the monsters, depending on whether it's a solo game or a two-player game, before your own heroes get eliminated. There's also something cool in this game called the challenge cards. Now you can just shuffle up randomly and you know shuffle out four monsters and a, and a king monster uh, when you're playing the solo game in order to uh, have just a, a, a random event. You don't really know what it's going to be. But they have cultivated uh, ten challenge cards that give you a pre-set up set of monsters to go against, and that is you know can be very very difficult because they're specifically designed to have that synergy between all the different monsters. It makes for a really good time and a really challenging experience. I have not yet won one of those challenge cards yet. Also, uh, there's in the back of the rule book, there is a kind of a checkbox. I don't know if you can see that very well. But basically, every time you use one of these heroes or defeat one of those monsters, you need to check it off in your box. Uh, and it's kind of like um, an achievement in a video game. And that can be very addictive. It's a lot of fun to try to chase after using certain heroes, you know, defeating certain enemies and defeating certain monsters. Um, it can be a lot of fun. It can be very addictive. Uh, and I spent a lot of my time doing that for this and for Puzzle Dungeon, the other game that I was talking about. Okay, so uh, I talked about in Puzzle Dungeon again, but we're also doing a giveaway for both that game and this game. So you don't want to miss out on that. There's going to be a link down below. Be sure you check that out so that way you don't miss out on your chances to uh, to win this, these copies of these games. If you're in the continental, continental U.S. and you win, we are going to ship this to you for free. If not, that expense is going to be on you. Um, but uh, I don't think you're going to want to miss out on a chance to win these cool solo games, especially given that we're all kind of cooped up right now due to uh, a lot of closures and um, vacations being canceled and all that kind of stuff due to the coronavirus. So um, don't be scared about that. Instead, spend your time locked up, safe and sound, playing some solo games, <laughs> all courtesy of us and from Brian Garber. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the cool videos that we have coming up soon. You can also find us on Facebook at Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. We are on Instagram at Ryan and Bethany. We are on Twitter at Ryan and Bethany One. And you can find our blog at BoardGameGeek.com. It's called Pounds and Inches. All right, well, don't forget to sign up for the contest, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.